And good job by the Jaguars and yeah. Josh Allen getting this deal done. Now, when it first broke yesterday, five years, $150 million, $30 million a year. Wow, $30 million a year. That's damn good. It's also not real. And we see this all the time. What happened was they took the incentive package, yeah. which requires to max it out and make it $30 million a year. Every year, it requires 17 and a half sacks and Pro Bowl or first no team big deal. All pro. Just 17 Nothing, and a half yeah, and a just Pro fall Bowl. Out of bed, no big deal. Just fall out of bed <laughs> and you get your 30 million a year. And it's not, it's not 30 million a year. And look, it, it's amazing how many people don't care about that. But what happens is the people whose existence is premised on getting that text from the agent and rushing to Twitter know they're being lied to. And they just don't care. They stay because if they hesitate, they lose the race to be the first to post it. And if they start asking questions, they don't get the information at all. They aren't on the text that they're not willing to pass along the periodic or more often BS about these numbers to their audience. They don't get it. So, I mean, I, you know, I point this out because number one, the right number is 141.25 million, 28.25 million per year, not 30, not 150. And also I pointed out because the people that you are supposedly trusting for accurate information are deliberately lying to you and you just don't care about it. And I'm here to point it out. That's all. I'm not trying to be a jerk. I'm just pointing out that these people are lying to you and they don't care. That's well, it. That's very nice of you. You are a jerk, but that's very nice it's of you. Public that's, that's very, it's a public service. Way to go. Way to go. You make up or you're a little less of a jerk today. Okay. So I'll give you credit right. there. <laughs> but no, I, I, I hear you. I, I, I mean, you, you and I are on the same page of this. Here's what I am interested with, right? And, you know, we talked and I brought this up yesterday. We brought it up earlier in free agency, right? I, I do think, like, maybe the Texans started this with Nick Casario a little bit. I think he's a little bit of the head of the curve with all these one- and three-year deals we've seen. That's the first thing that I think jumped out to both of us in free agency. Look at this, right? I think teams are looking a little bit like, hey, short-term contracts, we can balance the, you know, the salary cap and our checkbook a little easier that way than trying to project three and four years from now with what this contract might be and all that, right? The other thing, too, is seeing contracts like this that are more front-loaded, right? I think that's kind of interesting as well. I mean, the fact that he is going to make, what, more than $30 million the first two years of the contract, right? That's rare. Yes. It used to be the other way around. It used to be, hey, here's some okay numbers at the start. And then, like you said, Tyree Kill crazy numbers at the end of the contract where it's like they'll never see that money. It doesn't matter. This is a little different, right? And I, I'm guessing it's the same type of thing of – Wait, we don't want to kick things down, kick the can down the road. We know what we're dealing with right now. We'll get him his chunk of money. And then, you know, where it goes after, right? You know, we won't be hitting on the head quite the same way if we do want to get rid of him after year three of the contract. Uh, but I also like it from the player standpoint and the fact that I think he can see totality of this contract, you know, in a lot of ways too, with the way it's structured. And I think that's pro player in a lot of ways as well. There's 68 million total over the first two years, and then it it's drops impressive. to 23 million yeah. in year three, 24, seven, five, and 25, five. The only downside to this, though, is you get into years three, four, and five. Right. The big money has been cashed. Yes. And you look at what you have left, and you look around that at the could rest be of the, the problem. market. Right. You look at the salary cap, right. and you're thinking, man. So look. It's but what if? It, well, have, let me just throw this scenario. But what if you're now? Wait, I'm still really good, right? But I'm getting like nine and a half sacks a year, right? Now, wait, that number is not as big, and I'm not up in that class. Wow. But now the team might actually keep me because, hey, it's three years down the road and 23, 24 million for nine and a half sacks or 10 sacks a year. That's damn good. We'll keep you, right? So that would be the other side of the story that wow. I think about protecting the downside of the player, too. There's a sweet spot where yeah. you want to be making enough so that you feel like you're being properly compensated and not so little that the team has no intent. Why are we going to redo this deal? I mean, you don't want them to rip up the contract, yeah. but you also don't want them to sit there and think, oh, man, what a deal we did. This guy's screwed. This guy, you know, we, we got this guy for the next three years and we've got him at a great deal and we're not going to give him a new contract. Hi, it's Mike Florio. Thanks for watching PFT on YouTube. Hit subscribe for the latest news and analysis from Pro Football Talk.